Hi guys, welcome to Medi Study Go. Today we will be talking about erythema multiforme. Erythema multiforme is an acute self-limiting hypersensitivity reaction characterized by target skin lesions and ulcerative oral lesions. The term multiforme has been used to indicate the multiple and varied clinical appearances of this disease. Erythema multiforme has been divided into two subtypes a minor form and a major form. Although the basic cause of this disease is unknown, in about half the cases, the precipitating or triggering factors can be identified. Conveniently, these factors fall into two large categories. The minor form is usually associated with infectious factors such as the herpes simplex virus, tuberculosis, histoplasmosis, etc., whereas the major form is triggered by certain systemic drugs like barbiturates, sulfonamides, phenytoin, etc. Erythema multiforme occurs mainly in young adults and shows a marked male predilection. Before we get into the details of the clinical appearance of lesions seen in erythema multiforme, let's quickly review some basic terms related to skin lesions. Macules are circumscribed alterations in skin color. Remember that the skin surface is neither elevated nor depressed in relation to the surrounding skin. Papules are solid elevated lesions with no visible fluid, which may be up to half a centimeter in diameter. Vesicles, on the other hand, are circumscribed epidermal elevations in the skin containing clear fluid and are less than half a centimeter in diameter. If the lesion has a diameter of greater than half a centimeter, it is called a bulla. Vesicles and bullae are collectively referred to as blisters. Coming back to erythema multiforme, the classic skin lesions seen here are the target lesions or the bull's eye lesions. These are concentric erythematous rings separated by rings of near normal color, mostly seen on the hands, wrists and ankles. In erythema multiforme minor, which is a milder form of the disease as the name suggests, there may or may not be involvement of mucosa. However, symmetrical skin lesions are seen on the soles, palms, etc. In erythema multiforme major, the lesions of the skin are more widespread and there is also a definite involvement of two or more mucosal sites which may include oral mucosa, ocular mucosa, genital mucosa, etc. Ocular inflammation that is conjunctivitis and uveitis may lead to scarring and blindness. This form of erythema multiforme major, sometimes called as Stevens-Johnson syndrome, has a strong relation to medications, particularly analgesics. Let's take a closer look at how exactly the oral mucosa gets involved in this disease. Within the mouth, erythema multiforme characteristically presents as an ulcerative disease, varying from a few aphthous type lesions to multiple superficial widespread ulcers in erythema multiforme major. The most common feature showing involvement of the oral mucosa is the appearance of crusted and hemorrhagic lips. The tongue, buccal mucosa, gingiva, etc. can also show macules, papules or even blisters which may rupture causing bleeding and pain to the patient. The histologic appearance of erythema multiforme is not pathognomonic, which is to say that it does not help us to identify this particular disease unless a fresh early lesion is sampled. Initially, we see the degeneration of basal cells. Inflammatory cells such as lymphocytes, eosinophils and neutrophils are seen along the junction of the dermis and the epidermis and also surrounding the blood vessels. Necrosis of prickle cells is a significant finding. Considerable edema is also observed. The diagnosis is usually made based on clinical features. However, histopathological features can be used as an adjunct to exclude and distinguish between other skin lesions such as pemphigus. When target skin lesions are present, the clinical diagnosis is usually straightforward. However, in the absence of these lesions, several possibilities including herpes simplex, aphthous ulcers, pemphigus vulgaris, mucous membrane pemphigoid and erosive lichen planus should be considered. Erythema multiforme minor can usually be treated using symptomatic measures, such as keeping the mouth clean using bland mouth rinses. 
acyclovir 400 to 600 mg daily may be effective in preventing recurrences in patients who have an HSV triggered disease. In erythema multiforme major, topical corticosteroids along with antifungals may help control the disease. Erythema multiforme major is mostly associated with the drug etiology, so discontinuation of the causative drug such as a sulfa drug could be done. Topical anesthesia can also be given along with analgesics. One of the complications of erythema multiforme could be extremely painful hemorrhagic crustaceans on lips leading to an inability to drink causing dehydration. In that case, intravenous rehydration therapy can be advised in consultation with a physician. Supportive measures such as oral irrigation, use of antipyretics etc. may provide patients with substantial benefit. Now for a quick recap of this topic, erythema multiforme is a kind of hypersensitivity reaction seen in young male adults. Lesions are seen on the skin as well as the mucous membranes. Bullseye lesions are target lesions are the characteristic of this disease. Erythema multiforme has two subtypes, minor which is usually triggered by infectious factors. Therefore, treatment is aimed at treating the infection such as herpes simplex and major which is usually due to the consumption of certain drugs. Discontinuation of these drugs along with symptomatic treatment is provided. Differentials include pemphigus vulgaris, herpes simplex, aphthous ulcers and erosive lichen planus. The histopathology is usually non-pathognomonic. For better access to this mind map, you can DM us on our Instagram page. Think you've mastered this topic? Click on the video and answer some questions to test your knowledge. That's it for this video. Hope you guys found it informative. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.